In this video, I'll be testing this REI Wonderland tent against not just heavy rain, but also for rainy day ventilation as well. But before we do so, let's first check in on the tent. First, on the outside of the tent, I checked the rain fly and all the seams were taped, like so. And for the inside of the tent, I thought at first that this was a buffed up flooring, but on a closer look, I noticed that there's tons of seams on the flooring, like so, so this is not a tub floor. If you're wondering the reason why there are so many seams on this flooring, it's because there's quite a few connected webbings on the outside, like these grey and orange webbings, which have grommets for the poles, and they're also where you can stake the tent body down. And there's even additional stake loops beneath the door, so tons of seams on the flooring. But all of these flooring seams have been nicely and thoroughly taped. The corner seams on the flooring are also thoroughly taped. The flooring seams running the length of the tent have also been taped. So you don't have to worry here, they're all taped. As for the rest of the seams, let's talk about the seams on the width of the tent first. Here's what I noticed. Any seams on the bottom half here have been seam taped. This includes the seams on the flooring, the bottom half of the door, and the white to brown tent fabric. On the other hand, any seams above the middle here, so the top half, have not been taped. Mainly, this is just the seam running the top half of the door. I suspect that when REI rain tested this tent, the awnings on the outside provided a decent amount of rain protection over this side of the tent, so the seams nearer the top didn't need to be taped. Now let's talk about the seams on the length of the tent. You can see the outline of the rainfly from the inside of the tent, and basically, all the seams directly under the rainfly have not been taped, and this includes the mesh seams and pocket seams. And whatever is not covered by the rainfly have been taped, like these floor seams and these window seams. And now let's get to the rain test that you've been waiting for. So this was my overnight heavy rain test. It rained pretty heavily for about one hour or so and tapered off to a light rain by the next morning. So I checked in on the tent the next morning for the test results and here's what I found. It honestly doesn't look too bad and at a first look, nothing seems wet at all. But on a closer look, I noticed that the divider loops at the bottom of the tent have started leaking water into the tent. This happened on both lengths of the tent. The thing is, these seams have been taped, so why did they leak? I thought about this for a while and came up with two main reasons. First, these two loops are right at the bottom of the tent and the rainfly doesn't cover this part of the Wonderland 6 at all, so it's the most vulnerable seam to heavy rain for sure. And second, here's a close-up shot from the outside of where the leaky divider loops are. So I suspect that the water dripped through this tiny little gap right here. And on the inside of the tent, notice how the loop attachment isn't taped or sealed? So the water seeped into this fabric here and eventually leaked into the tent as more and more rain fell at night. Thankfully, this was the only leak into the tent and the rest of the seams and the rest of the tent was holding up really well. I also checked all the fabric that was not covered by the rainfly and all of it was still completely dry after the rain, like the flooring and the walls. And of course, the rainfly and all the fabric under the rainfly was dry. Here's one more thing that you need to take note of. Inside the Wonderland 6, it has two of these triangle mesh panels, which are like windows when you open them, and both have this black toggle that you can use to tie the window fabric up. Unfortunately, this looks exactly like the divider loop, except it's slightly higher up on the tent, so it didn't leak. But I can definitely see this being a potential issue as well under many hours of heavy rain. Now let's talk a little bit about window ventilation in the heavy rain. Under pretty heavy rain, I noticed that the awnings on the outside of the tent provided pretty decent rain protection over the doors. So I found that this window mesh was still completely dry even in relatively heavy rain. The bottom part of the door, this white fabric here, is wet though. 
Just take note that this happened in my yard without a whole lot of wind, so I could crack the windows open slightly, but you might not be able to do so in stronger winds. On the other hand, the other type of window in this Wonderland 6, which is this small triangle window at the bottom of the tent, is completely soaked through. This is because the rainfly doesn't cover it at all, and yes, even though I guide out the rainfly slightly above this window, it obviously didn't help at all, and there's no way you could open this in any rain. Overall, I think that this Wonderland 6 did pretty decently in the heavy rain. At least after one hour of heavy rain, it didn't flood or anything. In fact, there were only a few drops of water inside the tent after one hour of heavy rain, which is not the worst I've seen for this type of tent. With a little seam sealant on these slightly exposed seams, I think this Wonderland 6 could definitely withstand a few hours of heavy rain without leaking. For a full review on this REI Wonderland 6, with more than 20 tests, not just this rain test, check out this video on the screen here. Thank you for watching this rain test, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.